Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another video. This is my Tandy 4000. Yeah, and, um, you know, if you know me, hopefully you do, but you probably don't. <laughs> uh, I've... I'm drugged up. I, I have got a horrible cold, so I'm taking all kinds of pills, and I'm like a, I don't know, I just can't handle medication. <clears throat> I never got into drugs much in my life, so, yeah, you know, I got that going for me. So I can get high on aspirin. Anyway, bear with me. Uh, where was I? Oh, my 4,000. I'm a stickler for trying to make it an original. The 4,000 came with a scuzzy hard drive option. How hard are those to find, my friends? <coughs> Excuse me. Don't get excited, Mark. You're just going to cough your lungs out. Okay, so I found a Trantor or Adaptec, whichever one you want to call them. Basically, Adaptec bought Trantor. SCSI controller, 16-bit SCSI controller. And I had this old Quantum 80 gig. Yeah, bye-bye. So, I am now, sorry for the video flashing, usually my S7 can adjust, but sometimes with a really cheap monitor, I have a hard problem, and this is a very cheap compact VGA, it's a CV535, they're horrible. The only cool thing about them is they have those speakers that bolt into the sign, kind of like um, the old uh, Packard Bells used to. Anyway... I uh, got it going. Can you believe it? Uh, also, she's got uh, 10 megabytes of aboveboard RAM put in it. And there's a bunch of other peripheral cards to it. Uh, let me show you a little closer of the uh, insides. Hang on one sec. Oh, she just beeped for uh, another disc. Uh, and I don't, I just realized I don't have my stability, my stabilizer option set on my phone, so you're probably going to get shakiness. I do apologize for that. This has got some really cool stuff connected to it, but this is the inside of my 4000. Uh, she's a 386. She does have a math coprocessor. Let me see if I can find my tripod, because this thing's just going to shake like crazy. Hang on one sec. Okay. I'm all tripoded out. Uh, let me just point out, I gotta be delicate because I don't really like pointing while I have the machine on. And right now I'm installing DOS, I'm on the third disc. See this little cable right here? And anyone tell me what this is for? You'd probably guess like external COM port or something like that. You'd be wrong. This goes to that which is a, you know, I, I think that's a Sound Blaster sound card, but it's got a very unusual port on it. And that's for the very old first series CD-ROMs that were manual. I am, I have the CD-ROM for this, and it works. It is so cool to use because it's manual controlled. Now, it's not a Tandy manual, and I have one of those on my one of my 1000s. This is a third-party CD-ROM. I just love working with it because it's just old manual. It's just really badass. And then here's a good shot of uh, the nine megabytes of RAM. Uh, I believe this is a total of uh, 10 megabytes. I believe, I think, I have to check. I think that's a max I can put on this board that it will see it. Um, and I believe this, I don't know if you can see that. That's a Mathco. No, no, that's a CPU. That's a Mathco right there. That's a Mathco. Or that could be the CPU and that could be the Mathco. I'm not going to look close because I'm seeing Double Vision. Great song. Double Vision. Remember that song? That's all I'm going to sing because I got a horrible voice. What's that uh, saying? Hey, who sings that song? Uh, Fog Hat. Why don't you just let him do that? Get it? Yeah, you probably I'm I'm punch drunk, so I'm not gonna let you endure 
this any longer. I am sorry. I'm kind of dopey. Uh, oh, this is the bottom end of the uh, Quantum. She's an 80, 80 meg Quantum. I believe the choices were 60 or 80. Could have been 60 or 120. I can't really remember. I'm trying to think back. But I believe the choices were 60 or 80. Anyway, I got the Quantum 80 on here. Uh, the mounting hardware is really peculiar. Let's see if you can get a shot of this. These are little like rubber grommets that go into the side of this right in here. They screw in here on the inside and you screw them in through that hole. And then they bolt onto an adapter plate. Oh, perfect. Here's the adapter plate. See that? And that goes on the hard drive and then that slides in into here and then that bolts on right there. A very weird setup for this. Uh, th believe me, th this was hard to acquire, these parts. These are all stock and original. It originally only came with a 1.44 floppy. Uh, and it had no, well, it had memory upgrade. It had a, oh boy, I don't know if I can find it now. It had a 4 meg card. Oh, here it is. That disc card. And uh, I went ahead and put the uh, 9 meg card on it, which is the max I think this board can hold. So this one is going to go going up for sale pretty soon on eBay. I don't need it. And this is only for the 4000 And you could actually change these chips if you want to get them to go more. Um, I just got such a good deal on it, and uh, you know why not? So you can, pro you know, I might even put RAM on it that'll take it up to a full eight meg or nine meg and test it, and then uh, list it. So look for that soon. Um, I'm gonna probably do a part two of this all closed up, but for now, uh, let me pause it because I wanted to show you uh, if it boots. Hang on one second, to Okay, I don't know if you can see that through all the flickering, but it says remove disc and press enter. We get this. Press enter again. Let's see, she boots. I pulled the disc out. Come on, Quantum. Come on, Barbara. You can do it. She sees it. There it is. Oh, it's in CMOS that I have a Type 47. I got to get that out of there. Look at that. She's booting, my friends. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I love it. I'm so, I, you know, I can't tell you. <coughs> excuse me. I can't tell you what this does to me when I can bring these machines back exactly the way they were. I do believe... The Tandy 4000 had the option of a SCSI 80 meg with a max 9 megabytes of RAM. It's got 640K base and 9 extended. Uh, it has the floppy uh, 1.44, and that is a Tandy 1.44. And then it has that really strange mechanical single speed uh, CD ROM, which was available as an option. Uh, that was a third-party option. We did not have that CD-ROM available through Radio Shack, unfortunately. So I'm breaking a little bit of my rules. But it's just so damn cool to watch, to listen to it, run, and oh, man, it's just awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, ex I expect part two of it all done. There'll probably be a short vid. All bolted up and completed. Like always, you guys have a great day and a better life. See ya.